Well, Janusz Potocznik, welcome to the eighth forum and of course your first taking on the chair from Franz Fischler. Um, these are stepping into large shoes that have been well filled for uh, those seven years of the forum. Um, what are your hopes in terms of talking about the future but in terms of the forum? It's become an important voice, hasn't it? Actually today it's an uh, interesting coincidence, so it's the last day of the milk quota. So somehow uh, I would like that this debate which was concerning that more inward orientated and uh, more defending or orientated that this would now orientate open and that we would understand that many of the changes which we are currently facing are not only the changes which we are facing in Europe, these are global challenges and uh, global changes. And uh, that's why I think it's an interesting uh, uh, moment because exactly that's the point which I wanted to introduce into the, uh, this eighth forum, uh, to open it to discuss our economic uh, agricultural activity in the context of the global challenges, which are, by the way, very nicely framed inside the so-called uh, Sustainable Development Goals and uh, final talks which will in September be done uh, during this year still in New York. You opened up the session in, in yes. taking over the chair by reminding us you are of course also a farmer's son as yes. well as being having been a commissioner for the environment um, and being thankful and respectful of, of that heritage and the work of, of farmers and I think that was uh, endorsed by Amina Mohammed, who you know, talked on behalf of the UN as Special Advisor on those Sustainable Development Goals. She particularly talked about smallholders, she particularly talked about women. And these are some of the themes that are not just vogue concepts of the forum, they are coming through and they are absolutely vital threads in, in our debate. Both which you mentioned, smallholders, women, are extremely important questions. I think that uh, in this forum what I'm hearing is a lot of opening of new questions which I haven't heard a lot before and I think it's really important that we start to listen, that we start to understand that all these are very serious and important questions. Also food waste for example. These are the things which we need to address. We are in front of a serious transition. It's the transition which is not happening only in agricultural sector, it's happening in transport sector, it's happening in energy sector, it's happening all around in the business sector. So I think it would be important to understand that also agricultural part of the community will slowly and steadily have to accommodate to the challenges which are out there. And uh, I think uh, that's somehow the beginning of the discussion which we need to have. A very serious discussion which will finally brought us in some years probably to the debate which will be connected with where the new common agriculture policy should go. You talk about policy, but you know, you're right, we have had very human kind of ideas and passions shared in the, the forum today, not least by the opening address by Aaron Gandhi, yes. who talked about uh, planting a seed, yes. uh, to use that euphemism, in terms of uh, being a peace farmer. Um, you've talked and you have been on record as saying in terms of being commissioned for the environment, your biggest achievement was reconciling economic development with environmental preservation and you know this again is something that is a theme when it comes to the EU when it comes to the thorny issues of binding targets circular economy greening of the cap but these are themes passionate themes that I, I guess you would hope will carry through the policy makers to have exactly. a clear line of sight no I, I think you you named everything it's really uh, at, at, at the bottom line it's really reconciliation we have to understand that all our economic activities are on one hand beneficial because it's something which is providing us better life, goods for life, but on the other hand they have side effects. So they are hampering our environment in which we live, they are in some cases even hampering our own health. And it would be really important to understand that those things could work together. If we just strengthen the dialogue, if we just listen better to each other, if we just try to step sometimes into other shoes and try to understand also the concerns and the interests of others, and uh, through the talks and through our openness, I think we can address many of those issues. You've listened to some good themes. You know, what, what would you leave as your, your thoughts so far in terms of a call to action perhaps for the Eighth Forum and looking to the future. I know you've said for the new Commissioner he will need to fight for the environment. I mean is that yeah. of course is always a key message at the Forum. Uh, you know I think uh, we are 
we, we, are, we are in the middle of the eighth forum, which is trying to give a kind of contribution to the debate, which will be later ongoing in New York, and on the other hand, which is trying also to better popularize and make alive that kind of themes here internally in Europe. Uh, next year, we will be already in the phase where agreement will be behind us in New York. And I think that will be the moment where we will have to carry on uh, the debate, where we will have to see what was the level of agreement, how concrete it is, and what are the consequences for our policy making, and are we up to the job? Janusz Potocek, thank you so much for talking to us. Thanks a lot. Very good luck. Enjoy the rest of your first forum as chair. Thank you Many very thanks. much.